Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. You can always find us on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And of course you can follow along with us and hang out at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House and that's on Facebook. Well, today is just like getting some stuff done around here and I just thought I would go ahead and film while I did it. I just have some stuff I want to do and some tidying I want to do. Um, first things first is I planted some zinnias today. So I want to get that in my garden journal. I haven't written in my garden journal um, for a while. And I also noticed that I didn't even put a lilac sample in here, which I absolutely love lilac. So I usually... Um, I usually put some lilac in here, and I didn't even do that. Um, let's see here. See, there's my lilac page. Didn't even do it. Um, let's see. What would be a good place to put this? I think there's a page that I added. Maybe that's a good place to put that. So let me just get a pen. Will that fit right here? Yeah. And let's see, what is today's date? Uh, 20, oh my goodness, what is today's date? I'm going to say it's the 23rd. Let's see, I might have it on here. Let's see here, brother. Um, nope, I don't see it. Okay, well, I'm going to say 23rd. I think it is. May 23rd, 2023. Um, these are zinnias. Planted in front garden. Um, planted on the west side. Okay, so let me, I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put, put it on there with um, maybe some, let's see, do I want tape or do I just want, I've got some scraps here. Everything's in a little bit of a disarray because I mentioned to you that I had bought a shelf at a garage sale for $10 and it's not the best, but I spray painted it, Joey and I spray painted it. Black. I was going to do white, but it was, part of it was black, part of it was wood colored. And so I thought it's going to be a lot quicker and easier if I just go black. So that's what I did. And, um, man, the fumes were horrific. I did it outside, but then, and we let it even dry outside. And then we let it spend the day and night in the mud room and then brought it into, um, the studio uh, yesterday, early evening, like before dinner. And by the time, um, well, I was in here trying to tidy up and get things put on the new shelf. It gave me such a headache because of the fumes. It was awful. Um, I guess I should let that dry a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's not so bad today. But everything is kind of in a disarray. You know when you move things around and you, you're trying to make things just a little bit more, uh, oh, convenient, you know, but just just being moved, it kind of makes it inconvenient because you're just so used to everything. Although I think I'll get used to it because I have a lot more space behind me. Everything was right behind me on a little desk type of thing. And now that little desk has been moved out of here, so I have a little bit more room behind me. I don't, I didn't get as much shelf action as I had hoped. Like, I'd really hoped to get a lot on there. I don't know, you know, I had high hopes for it. But um, I'm still going to have to put some books that I have in bins. I have um, these little, you've probably seen me work with them before. Um, when I coffee dye, I buy those from the Dollar Tree or what have you, those um, dish, dish pans, you know. 
And so I use those to organize my books on my big shelves. And so I'll put like, uh, oh gosh, let's see, how do I have it? Children's books are in one, garden books, cooking, uh, sewing, history, um, just random books to cut up. Um, I have like almanacs and maps and things like that. I just have them kind of organized in case I do want to look for something specific, like if I'm doing a journal for travel or what have you. Okay, so now I have that in, and it also has a little pocket here that I can uh, keep track. Let's see, do I want to put something in that little pocket? Do I have something close by without having to dig too much? Here, I was experimenting with these little making little um, library cards. I haven't finished doing what I want to do with them yet, so that's probably why I haven't seen them, but while I have it here, let's just put one in. And <clears throat> let's... Uh, Mertens, let's see. Okay. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Joey, one, four, three, Jenny, Garden, Xenias. Uh, five, twenty three, twenty three planted. Okay, so now as they start to come up they should be okay and that says here that they won't bloom for 35 to 60 days so we'll see what happens I might have a, a little topper I think that's going to be a little bit short yeah let's put a topper on it a big topper So just to kind of galley lagging along here, you know, so I'm going to do this and then um, I have it in my I, in my mind that I want to do mass produce 10 small journals. I've done that before and it, it went pretty well. Okay, I might have done that just a little bit too high, but we'll just use it like that. Let's see what happens. Still a little bit, but it pokes out a little bit. Put it over there. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with it. Alrighty. Okay, so um, I have my envelopes. I got some envelopes out. They're my kind of recycled ones from junk mail, etc. Like the kind that you get in the mail when your, um, you know, remittance or invoices come in them or. Uh, what else? Let's see what else comes in them. Um, oh, like our insurance, hospital, stuff like that. Okay, that I can set aside now. I put them in this big box I got at a flea market for a dollar. So I just keep them all in here. Well, most of them. I think I have some stashed somewhere. That's what happens is sometimes you organize and then can't find what you did with stuff. So then you organize in another spot. So anyways, I have those. And then I thought what I would do is today I was super excited. I finally uh, got my Joey card maker Shinsetsu digital kit. I hope I said that right. Shinsetsu. So I thought I would look through it with you. I just printed it and um, wanted to go through it with you. Now, um, it's 25 pages. I have a few more pages than 25 because I printed a few on cardstock too. And it's Traveler's Notes is what he calls it. And I'm going to measure that and just see what that, what that is. But, um, so these are a little bit out of order because I, I, uh, printed some towards the end too, but look at how beautiful these are. So my thought was to use some of these also in these 10 envelope journals that I want to make. 
so pretty. These would be like long side pockets, or I really kind of feel like you could use them as belly bands. Let's see. You know, if you just cut them, cut them off there. Well, they're about eight and a quarter. Um, yeah, that might work, you know. Pockets, beautiful. I love this. Look at that. It's like a little book cover. Now, this was intended, I intended to copy that in, um, cardstock. I ran out of cardstock, so I had to pick some up today. This is in cardstock. Aren't those beautiful tags? So those, when you cut them, will be ready to go. So here's a long envelope, journal cards, and some stamps up here. So pretty. Here are the small tags, tea cards, and some more stamps down here. Super sweet. The colors are amazing. Here's some large tags. Those are going to be great. Slip into an envelope on their own. Now this is a, like a journal kit, so you could just get this and make the 100% make the journal out of this if you wanted to. Um, and here's some corner pockets and fussy cuts that you could do. And then the little, little envelope is right here. Some more tags. I thought these were really neat for you to um, decorate. The colors are so pretty. And then here's some little tat or some little journal cards, tea cards, what have you. You could use them to to add on to, you know, like these tags if you wanted to, kind of add some dimension. Um, and then some wonderful words and just little decorations. Then here's some tabs you can use. And then here is okay, so here is page. So the page is a, is just at about ten and a quarter. I haven't cut it cut any of them down yet, but let me see. I'm gonna get it going right. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I'm gonna use them in you know as pages in a journal, but. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to make some envelope envelope journals, and so I'm going to use them um, in that. I love this one. I just absolutely love that one. And here is a writing page, journaling page. This one is so beautiful. So if you haven't already, I hope you'll go over to Joey Cardmaker on Etsy because, well, first of all, he's one of the nicest guys I think I know in uh, YouTube, Instagram, Etsy land. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I feel like we're friends, to be honest. Um, and his, so go over to his Etsy. He's just genuinely one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet um and he's extremely talented look i mean just this artwork is absolutely beautiful and he has all kinds of different styles to his art um he has a beautiful christmas kit if any of you are you know wanting to put a christmas journal together either as a gift or for you to, you know, keep track of your guests and things like that. Okay, so you can see I've been, I'm a little bit out of order here with them. Okay, so then these would be like journaling cards. Let me just tear one apart real quick so you can see. This would be a lot better if probably if you cut it nice and crisp. But just for the sake, I want to show you, you know, you would just, you could either fold it and glue it, fold it and glue it, and then you already have a journal card, or just fold it. You could um, put some paper in here and make a little notebook to tuck into a pocket, or you can just simply leave it like this and tuck it in, and it just, it's a great journaling space. Isn't that awesome? Love it. Okay. 
I moved my trash can too far away. All right, let me just flip that over. I mean, just so beautiful. Okay, I've shown you this one before. I meant to do these on cardstock, uh, but I ran out and didn't realize it, you know, when I was printing them again, so it's fine. You know I'll use it for sure. I'm going to use those in the envelopes, so... Speaking of envelopes, here's a beautiful envelope, and then there's some labels for the envelope. <clears throat> some labels there. Aren't those so pretty? Now look at this. This is so Joey is so good about like explaining um, his method. So you have all of these different pockets. You can use them by themselves for sure. But he's got them sit, set up to layer them if you want. So if you cut this one out, it goes on this and then this goes on here and it just tears up and makes a beautiful a beautiful pocket. And then he has these fussy inches for you to cut out and use. I think these would be kind of neat to cut some of them with your stamp scissors. Um like you know like these that make it look like a, you know, like a postage stamp. If I can do it without getting into that envelope on the fly here. So remember when you're doing a stamp, you you literally turn the paper four ways instead of the scissors because sometimes you can get the little ripples going the wrong way. But now look how cute is that? It's a little stamp. Isn't that cute? Okay, I'll put, poke that back in there. Scissors back. I've got such a mess. i got to put stuff back right away. Otherwise, it's going to add. Okay, and there's that one I was telling you about, that booklet. That's going to be so cool to make that. The journaling cards. These are the ones I, I was trying to make on uh, cardstock so they'd be ready to go. But um, all I'll need to do here is just glue them down to some paper. Same here. That's that. We've seen that one before. It's beautiful. Here are some small tags and then the tea cards here and then some more stamps. Look how pretty those are. The larger ones again. So what I did was I just printed the whole kit. I was just like print and then I went back through and decided which ones do I want on cardstock and I thought I had put enough cardstock in but I didn't. So, um, so you're seeing duplicates of some. Look at these, how fun. And then there's there's those again. And there's the uh, decorating base for tags and the tabs down here. And then some a background page. Isn't that neat? So you could put these on the background of any of it that you wanted to. So yeah, I thought that was so cool. I've seen this... Um, I think Gail Augustinelli showed it a while back in her Etsy shares, and I was absolutely in love with it, and I just haven't been able to get it till now. And um, so it's Joey Cardmaker, and he has it in the uh, U.S. letter version and the A4 version, too. So um, you have to go over. And if you don't get this one, um, check out his other ones. They are so cool. Okay. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get, I want to get the ones that, see if I can find exactly the one that I was thinking about. A couple of them. That one and that one. Okay, I'm going to use these to begin with. Um, what I'm trying to do is I want to build I want to build my Oh, 
I want to build my envelope um, journals. Okay, so honestly, I haven't really thought through, except that I know I want to make 10. That's all I've, that's as far as I've gotten. And I knew that I wanted to, uh, I'm moving some stuff around, sorry for all the noise, that I did want to use some of Joey's and then some of the others that I have too. So it's not going to be exclusively Joey's, but I'm definitely going to use some of his in it because I, I just really do love them. So you might remember we, we did these a while back. Um, outside when it was a nice sunny day. All right, I got I'm working around a little bit of a mess here, but I thought to myself, if I wait till I clean it up, it's just gonna take it's just gonna take too long, and I want to get a video in. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is let's just go with six for now, and I'll save these for a little bit later. So I know I want the front like this. Uh, do I want to open them all up? That one's open. It is nice if they have that flap open, but they don't all have that. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and get them open. So that one's open. Open open and that's a flap open so they may not all be this you know done the same way I think that's okay can I get this in here in this cutter no all right get my large cutter out So I just thought, you know what, I want to do this and um, get some of these made and just have fun with some of these digitals. I think it, because these are a coffee dyed, I'm going to have to do them individually because they're a little bit wonky. Wonky. It's been beautiful. So remember we had like a thousand days of rain. Well, now we're on um, three days so far of no rain. So that's very exciting for us. Um, let's see if I can get that over there a little bit. So that's very exciting for us. And so, you know, as you saw today, I put that, those little zinnias in the ground. That was not a very big deal. It's just that I finally did it. And what I did was in our, in our garden that's right at our front door, it's kind of a little cottage garden. Well, I might have mentioned to you before that my, two of my lavenders have not come back. You know, they did not re-sprout. I need to still go get lavender, but lavender uh, starts for that. Um, here comes train. So um, I wanted some, some things that would grow quickly, and these are annuals. I don't normally like to plant annuals by seed. I don't mind them to plant here and there just for a burst of color. You know, when you get a little starter or something. But I love Zinnia so much that I thought, oh, let's just do it. And then hopefully we can harvest the seeds and have them for next year, hopefully. Uh, I also got hollyhocks, but I didn't plant those. I've, I've got to think through where to put those guys. It's said to plant them in... partial shade which should not be a problem because we do we have a lot of shade I just got to figure out a place that they can grow nice and tall you know um, they have I have such good memories of hollyhocks when we were little girls uh, things were a little bit different than they are now used to you know you just roamed or at least we did and there was a park Probably about mm, half a mile away when we were little, probably, I don't know, 
an eight or nine, something like that. We'd walk over to the park. And I had a sister that was a year older than me, and so we did a lot of that together. Um, walk over to the park where there was this yard uh, that bumped up to the sidewalk that was chain link. And the elder lady that lived there had an unbelievable garden. This garden was basically her whole backyard. And to some that, you know, like kind of a pristine garden, probably wouldn't like it because it, it was wild. It had, you know, flowers everywhere. But growing against the fence, she had hollyhocks. Every color of hollyhocks. And my sister and I would stop and smell them and if she was out we'd chat with her that was the way it was you know you see uh strangers were only people that looked weird is what we thought you know when we were kids not not sweet old ladies you know so we'd stop and talk to anybody um of course we know that anybody is a stranger if you don't know them but anyways um she made us these hollyhock dolls has anybody ever heard of that? I need to look it up and see how to do it. Uh, so she made us these hollyhock dolls, and I just remember absolutely loving them. And and I would keep them until, you know, they just would no longer stay together because they were so dry. But I just loved them. So uh, hollyhocks have such a great memory for me. Okay. There's that. Clean up my little mess here. All right, well, we have six done. I'm going to go ahead and cut the others. There's seven. Let's see if I can get enough eight. I'll go with nine. Ten. Okay. Let's get these cut too. And the reason I like zinnias is, don't they just look like fun? You know, I mean, they're just joyful. Of course, all flowers to me seem, well, not all. Some of them I don't really care for. But for the most part, they seem joyful. And zinnias, to me, are absolutely the sweetest little flowers. They just look so beautiful with anything you, you partner them with, I think. So. so I'm excited about that. Oh, and the thing about the hollyhocks is it says that it doesn't bloom the first year. So that's fine. They're actually perennials or what they call biannual, which I need to look that up to see, but I'm not sure. But I kind of think that means that they reseed themselves. Maybe somebody knows. That I might have to make a little smaller. Ooh, I don't know what is going on with this. Must have some special something that makes it not want to cut very good. Enviro safe envelope. Hmm. Fine, crooked, but fine. <laughs> and then, um, so when we moved here, I I really just didn't know what kind of flowers had been planted. And um, so I just dug everything up and, you know, planted what I wanted to plant. Well... You know, I had mentioned that I think something has come back, like some type of a, uh, what has happened here? This has like a guide, but I don't see what, huh. I feel like my guide has gotten changed. Uh, anyways, um, 
I, I dug up the garden and then um, some of the things had come back, you know, like those ones I, I told you that I think might be, um, I don't know if they're like, a, I thought they might be like chocolate mint. They kind of reminded me of chocolate mint, but they're, it's everywhere. I mean, everywhere. So I redug that up. Well, then there's these other plants that have come up and I thought, I don't know, those don't look like weeds or it doesn't really look like it's a, um, an herb or anything like that. I wonder what those are. So now these things are, oh, they're probably 12 inches tall and they're just right now, they're just, um, leaves. They're not, so they're not bloomed yet or they don't have any buds. So I'm going to just leave them and see what happens. Just going to see, like, is it a flower? <laughs> or am I, you know, getting really good at growing weeds? See, I'm not sure what it just happened to my cutter here. I have to figure that out. Okay. All right, well, at least we got that done. Can't really figure out what happened here. I think it just jumped track somehow. Huh. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to, um, uh, get the magnifying glass out really to figure that one out I think I should probably keep stay keep that out the only problem is is that now that now that I can't see the little guide I don't know if I'm going to be able to cut it straight let's see if I can do it okay so what I want to do is well there I guess maybe I can see the guide yeah I'm going to cut this off not as a pocket. So see, something's happening. See how it's doing that? Oh, what's going on? So I'm going to cut that not as a pocket, and I'm actually going to try... Well, let me get it over here and try this. Nope, I'm going to try to cut it right down the center here, too. Sort of. It doesn't have to be exact, but I like the print, so I wanted to I wanted to cut it. Yeah, so something's going on with my something's going on with the cutter. It's really not that old. I mean I got it like at Christmas time. So it's really not that old. So I'm gonna just cut that off here. Let's see, I'm going to cut that off here. Hmm, okay. We'll just keep on keeping on about it. And hope that I'm getting it straight. Well, I didn't do what I hoped. Okay. Let's see if I can keep that. Keep that. Oh, I'm going to have to do it with scissors. Um... So I put dinner in the crock pot. I went to Walmart today and uh, I absolutely do not like going to the super center like that because, yeah, something's off with the guide. I'm sorry to keep interrupting myself, but something's off with the guide. So I'm just going to use... I'm just going to use the top markers here, or the side markers. 
Anywho, um, so I went and um, got some spare ribs and just plunked those into the crock pot when I got home and then poured um, a can of A&W root beer over it. We had some A&W root beer in the fridge because uh, our grandkids like it. We were going to have game night the other night, but so we got it um, for the kids. But my grandson has outdoor allergies so bad, and we were outside. See? Oh, so frustrating. wonder what is going on. I'm sorry to have to cut right through that. Anyway, so we have a ton of a and root beer left, and um, so I don't know if you've ever done that before, but it it's really a good, oh, base to cook, to cook ribs in, you know, that, or you can use Dr. Pepper's really good, you can use Dr. Pepper, um, now, I'm going to save these. I'll cut those out. These little banners out. So, uh, so yeah, okay. So, what I did was I just plunked them down in, in the crock pot. And then I just poured one can over it. And now I'm cooking it at high for a few hours. Oh, this is frustrating. Cooking it at high for a few hours. And then I'll cook I'll you know, turn it down and cook it low. It'd be so good. And then I'll serve it with um, probably just baked potatoes. I am just not sure why this is not cutting very well. Probably hear our train coming. All right, well, let's see if I can do any better on this page. So anyways, yeah, that's going to be a nice little dinner. Joey's going to be excited about that when he gets home. Somehow I eyeballed that right. <laughs> It's almost like some, you know, like when you have a pair of scissors and you've cut something, you, you know, used them to cut something you weren't supposed to, and now the blade is dull. That's kind of what it's acting like. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just not cutting nice and crisp. But I only cut paper with it, so I'm not sure what could have happened. See if I can now get this have Z's. My back was killing me by the time I got done at the grocery store. I was telling a friend of mine that um, I, you know, you don't get workman's comp when you use self checkout, even though you're the one that's working. Um, you know, if you hurt or any of that from self-checkout, you don't, you just got to grin and bear it. It's not part of the, the deal when you do a self-checkout. But, you know, I'll, e even though sometimes I don't really care to have a self-checkout, I really, the reason I don't, I don't mind having it because I do like bagging things my own way. I'll bag things like if it goes in the fridge, it, it all goes together. If it goes in in a particular cupboard, then that all goes that all gets bagged together. So I love that. And then another thing is, is I think about like you know there are people that really can't. 
do the self, you know, they, they, for some reason, either can't stand that long or can't lift that much or whatever the case is. So I don't want to stand in line and have someone that, you know, isn't able to, to, you know, have to wait even longer. So I'd rather just do the self-checkout. I try, though, to park very, very close to the cart corral. So when I'm done, I'm out. All right, how many did we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll find two more. Might might do it out of something different. I don't know. But I think what I'm going to do is go ahead. I'd like to get a couple of these started to, you know, just kind of have an idea how it's going to go. And like I said, I don't really have a plan about it. I'm just simply wanting to get started and, you know, get these things underway. Let me grab my little trash can here. That's my grocery list. My finished grocery list in it. I was very happy that I was able to find... Well, I, there was one thing I couldn't find. I was going to say I was happy I was able to find everything. T that does not always happen. So, I know that there are a lot of newfangled cleaners out there, and I'm all about it. I love to try cleaners. I want the best cleaner, whether it's all-purpose, bathroom, kitchen, dishes, detergent, laundry, you know, whatever. Um, I want I want to try it because I, I love super clean, super nice smelling. I love all of that. So, um, all right, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. But, so I have this, uh, uh, but I like Ajax. I'm going to put a, a smaller one here. That's 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I want that one. Anyways, I love um, Ajax. The, you know, uh, what am I trying to say? Like the cleansing powder. I like that it has that bleach in it. And, you know, you can leave it, like, in your in your sink and, you know, scrub it and get that bleach going or in your tub, get that bleach going and then leave it. And it just turns out so spotless. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I like that it has a little bit of abrasiveness to it. <laughs> I know that's probably what most people don't want, but I like that it has a little bit of abrasiveness to it because then, um, what am I doing? Because then, you know, it, it also helps as well. So, yeah, I think I want this to poke out just a little bit. So I think I'm going to level it with the bottom. And then I'm going to extend it with one of these. I think. You can tell I don't know what I'm, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. Well, anyways, they did not have, they did not have Ajax. They had Comet. Comet is supposed to be similar, the same type of thing. I do not find it to be the same, although I did go ahead and get it. <laughs> uh, I use my art glue. I did go ahead and get it. That was the only thing. But I just want to say for a dollar or dollar three or whatever it is, I just don't think you can beat 
the cleaning power of Ajax. So if you ever find yourself wanting to just spend a little bit but have a really good clean, that is my that's my suggestion. Oh, how straight. Not very. So anyways, I got the comment, but I wanted it. You know, I just wanted it, and I don't think they... So the lady said, I don't think we carry that anymore. Which would not surprise me, because I, I really, looking at the products, they didn't have... They only had one Ajax product, and that was the dish soap. So see, I think that'll look pretty there. I probably don't need that for this. I could probably... I'm still using up this uh, Craft Bond permanent from Elmer's. It's doing... So far, it's doing pretty good. I used it on another ephemera booklet that I made. Still trying to get all of my ephemera organized. I think it turned out okay. But then again, you know, with those ephemera... Oops, I better go this way. With those ephemera booklets, um, I Mod Podge over it. So it's like a little extra security. Kind of strengthens that paper. 